Good morning, everyone. Please welcome to the stage Colorado Senate President and NCSL immediate past president, Leroy Garcia. Good morning, colleagues, and a special salute to our military veterans that are here with us today. I'm thrilled to be here with you, and the vet with Veterans Day just one week away, I'm pleased that NCSL has chosen to dedicate this session to honoring those who have served our country. I'm proud to be on this stage with the flags that represent the six branches of the United States Military Service. My own path included serving in the United States Marine Corps, where I was deployed to Iraq as a mortuary affairs specialist in 2003. My time in the military taught me lifelong lessons and a profound appreciation for the men and women that serve this great country. NCSL has identified more than 900 military veterans who are continuing their service as state legislators. And I know there are also many veterans working in state capitals as legislative staff. You saw the names of the military veterans serving in the state legislatures as you walked in today, or perhaps you saw the signs outside the general session area. At this time, I would like to ask all military veterans who are working as staff and those who are in the legislature to please stand, if you're able, so that we can recognize you for your service. This is going to be one of the key moments I will long remember from our meetings this week. I would like to ask all of you who just stood if you can join us afterwards on stage so that we can take a group photo together. I also have a special invitation to all the legislators that are in the room today. Please attend the NCSL business meeting tomorrow right here in this room where we will be considering a memorial resolution about the legislator and legislative staff veterans. I invite you to voice your support and join NCSL in honoring veterans for their dedication on behalf of the fellow veterans, service members, and their families, for their accomplishments and their contributions in their legislatures and their communities, and for their continued leadership. Now it is my distinct pleasure to welcome two state legislators who are working to help military families across this nation. Washington's Representative Tina Orwall, who is a co-chair of NCSL's task force on the military veterans affairs, has worked to address veteran suicide prevention in her home state and nationwide. And Alaska Senator Joshua Rivak, also a member of the task force who served two tours in Iraq with the United States Army. Please help me welcome both Representative Orwell and Senator Rivak to stage. Thank you, President Garcia. NCSL's commitment to respecting and supporting military veterans, service members, and their families is longstanding. Active now for nearly 15 years, the NCSL Military and Veteran Affairs Task Force, made up of state legislators and legislative staff, share best practices and innovations that help service members and veterans in their states, particularly on employment, mental health, and education. Task Force members engage with leaders at military installations on community military relationships and land use planning around installations. The group meets two to three times annually and consists of 46 legislators and staff from 24 states in Puerto Rico. We invite any of you interested in serving with this dedicated group to seek appointment from your legislative leadership. Thank you, Tina, and good morning, NCSL. Good morning. Good morning. As NCSL staff began planning this event to honor legislative veterans, one person realized it was the perfect opportunity for NCSL to give back to the Tampa military and veteran community via her hobby. When Brenda Erickson isn't assisting legislatures with matters of parliamentary procedure or staffing the National Legislative Program Evaluation Society or the National Legislative Services and Security Association, she makes beautiful quilts. Brenda created two quilts for donation to the Quilts of Valor Foundation on behalf of NCSL. 
Quilts of Valor was started by a Blue Star mother in 2003, and a handmade quilt of valor is considered the highest civilian award that can be presented to a service member or veteran who's been touched by war. And this is a very special personal honor for me to be able to present these quilts. I was touched by war. In late June 2006, I was wounded by enemy mortar fire in Ramadi, Iraq. I spent almost a month in a military hospital bed in Launchstuhl, Germany. And it was right around the 4th of July as I lay in that cold white hospital room. An amazing woman came to my bedside and presented me with a wonderful, colorful, handmade quilt. She said it would remind me that she was praying for me. That quilt kept me warm. It lifted my spirits, and most of all, it helped me believe that I was not alone. I still have that quilt. It still comforts me, and it still reminds me of all those things, as well as to help others in need. That woman will never know how much that quilt meant to me, and I know these quilts will also be cherished by their recipients. You may have seen some of these stunning quilts as you came in this morning, and I'd like to invite Allison Fentrist, the Assistant Executive Director of the Quilts of Valor Foundation, to please come to the stage and accept NCSL's donation of these wonderful quilts. Thank you, Allison, and, and I know that you will ensure that these quilts are presented to service members and veterans uh, in, a, in a very timely manner. We're excited about that, and I also know that at any given point in time, you have more than 10,000 nominations for quilts for recipients. Wow. Thank you so much for all you do and your team in Quilts of Valor. We appreciate it so much. And if everybody could help me give a, 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 just a huge round of applause for Allison and Quilts of Valor. Thank you. Thank you.